When making links to videos in Blackboard, there are a few technical issues to keep in mind. The first is, when making a link to a video, do you want to embed the video so that students can see the viewer, or do you want a simple link? The general rule of thumb has been to use embedding for major content and links for additional content, but this can change depending on how many video links you're using. If you have, for instance, five videos in one lesson as main content, it might just be better to have them as links to avoid cluttering up the space. Moving on to the fun part, stable linking practices. Yay! Let's start with library resource videos. These videos are preferred because they are guaranteed to be more accessible than videos found online. We have two major vendors, Films on Demand for general use, and Counseling and Therapy in Video. I'm going to go over Films on Demand here, as this is our more highly used video vendor. The Counseling and Therapy in Video database is very similar. Almost every video comes with a transcript to increase accessibility, and you can depend more reliably on the content staying where it is. Items in other websites might be removed due to Digital Millennium Copyright Act DMCA takedown requests from others claiming copyright infringement, or even automated systems that attempt to match videos to pre-existing copyrighted material. So even if you're sure a video is in compliance with copyright law, it still might disappear. A lecture by a professor of intellectual property recently disappeared from YouTube when I went back to finish watching it because the automated system YouTube uses matched too much of his video to the Star Wars theme he was playing in parts of his presentation. Even though he was perfectly within his fair use rights, the automated bot isn't that discerning. When you found a video, you can get the stable link from the Share tab. This has a stable link that uses the Hodges stanza, which makes sure that students are rerouted to log in to view this content. Using the link at the top might work, but it also might not. You can see there's a big difference in the structure of these links. Within the Share tab, you also have the embed code. This code has changed a bit recently, so please contact us if you have any embedding issues. Previously, there were two options, and now you can see only one. In either case, I recommend using the one that uses an iframe, which you can see is the first word in the embed code. So we copy that, go into our Blackboard shell, and paste the code as HTML using the HTML button. For direct links, I prefer writing in the title of the video and inserting the link onto that, but this is entirely up to your discretion. For videos from YouTube, there are other challenges presented. One I've already mentioned, which is the takedown system in place that makes vid videos unstable. Another is the issue of linking private videos. If, for instance, you want to add your own custom videos to YouTube and list them as private, you cannot use the YouTube building block in Blackboard, as this relies on searching the publicly available items. One way to avoid this problem is to use Hodges supported software to make your video, such as VoiceThread. But some professors are using YouTube to auto generate captions to make their videos more accessible. You can clean up these transcripts or sync your script for your video automatically in YouTube. There are two videos I've already made showing you how to make accessible videos and go over this process in more detail. You can find these in the faculty help guide, on the library website, or in the master course template SharePoint. In fact, this very video has an automatically synced transcript, which you can see by clicking the closed caption button in the viewer. Once you have the video you want, use the share and embed code as seen earlier or the permanent share link for supplemental videos. If you have any questions about anything covered here, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. It lets us know that we're growing an audience and will allow us to continue making more material for you. If you'd like to contact us to learn more about Hodges University and our library, visit us at the link in the top right.